Howdy partners, it's your boy John here and welcome back to Pokemon X, the ice type mono playthrough where last time we left off, Mamoswine, well, Tundra, evolved into a Mamoswine. Um, oh, I was just doing some leveling up in a cave, I should probably put that chingling up before I forget. Yeah, I did some uh, leveling up off screen in the, uh, the cave, uh, Reflection Cave. It's a good thing I went and checked that to show you guys about Mamoswine because otherwise I would have had... <laughs> Not to, not withdraw. What am I doing? Go back. Go back. Go back. Deposit. Okay. All right. Deposit. There we go. Um. Why does it not let me? There we go. Okay. Okay. Right. I went and did some leveling off screen because uh, last episode near the end of the episode we tried to take on the fighting type gym leader. Things didn't go too great, but I think I we could have easily won that. I think because really. Mamoswine is such a bulky Pokemon. So I'm working on coming up with a strategy here. The plan is lead off with Tundra, take out Mindfu, because he has re Tundra has return, which is a big help in this gym. Um, and Tundra also is very heavy defensively. So take out Mindfu really fast. Switch over into January, heal up Tundra from whatever damage he has. Um and then um, after January's knocked out, while we're taking on the Machoke. The Machoke is the biggest problem I've come across so far in this gym. I don't think her Halucha is going to be too much of an issue. But I'm going to need every bit of help I can get with um, the Machoke. So, sack off uh, January. Go into Yule. Get off the, uh, the Hailstorm. That'll boost... Um, Tundra's evasiveness, as well as get us some damage going down on Machoke. I think that's the way to go. Uh, let me make sure I have. I probably should have done this while we were out there. <laughs> got plenty of super potions. We got some revives. I think I can do this. I might actually use that rare candy. Now nah, we're gonna hold off on that for a second here. I'm just messing around with you. I know you're rolling on the aisles, right? We've already done this. All right, just get to this. All right. Here's the plan. We're going to lead off with Tundra. Try to knock out that Mindfu as fast as we can. Because that Mindfu is going to sit there building up on its um, uh, power-up punch. Uh, so take out Mindfu as fast as we can. Go into January. Use January as a chance... To heal up Tundra. I'm fake out. Don't get the flinch. Uh, okay. There we go. Alright, that's a big hit. That's a very big hit. I, I, I'm wondering. Oh, she's going right into Halucha instead of Machoke. Did she do that last time? I thought she went into Machoke. Let's keep battling. Ooh, okay, so Powder Snow could do a lot of damage. It is part flying, but I'm pretty sure the fighting type cancels that out. I'm going to go with another return. Let's see what that does. Home Claws. You can do that all day. I mean... If, he, if it goes for a fighting type, we could be in some trouble, but let's see what return does. Yes, okay, that's not bad. I'm going to finish up with a Powder Snow here. Oh my gosh. Well, this is a good chance to see what exactly Powder Snow will do to it. It did a decent amount. Not, not the best. Let's go for another return. Flying Press. That could hurt... Oh, no, 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 he took it. He took it pretty well. Okay. Alright. I think I'm going to go for that plan now. I'm going to switch over into January. I uh, use that as a chance to heal Tundra up. Sack off January. Go into Yule. Hopefully get up the, uh, the Hailstorm. Tundra wants to learn Mist. I mean, that I, could use, I could use that in some ways. Uh, oops. But, really, I know... I think we actually have a Mist Setter on the team already, so I... No, I don't think I want to go with Mist for, for Tundra. 
No, why, why do I keep doing that? Okay, just c come back out. Keep on loose. Yes, okay. All right, we're going to switch over. All right, January, go to level 25. Wants to learn takedown. I could, I could probably use that. That's not that bad. Let's forget. Um... Ooh, I don't know. Refresh is good. I might, I might get rid of... Actually, I'm, the more I'm thinking about it, I, I think we're good with what, what he has right now. So we're not going to get pick up takedown because we actually have takedown right now on uh, Borealis. So... Yeah, we're not going to put that down on, on January. Match Oak, okay. Here comes the last one. Let's switch over to January. Pop some Hyper Potions down. Um... Switch over into Yule. Try to do some damage to him using Yule. Right now I'm going to use this as a chance. Let's grab that Super Potion. Alright. Rock Tomb. Is that going to be a knockout? Right, I'm just going to try to get some damage off here. With a quick attack. She hasn't gone for power up punch. Oh, there it goes, as soon as I say it. Um What do you guys think? He's not completely healed up, so I'm gonna go into Borealis. Try to get a little bit more damage off on him here. Let's go for the takedown. Wait, I can't let him set up this... I can't let him set the, up that... Mm. Alright, I should have used that as a chance to heal up Tundra the rest of the way. Uh, Yule... Alright, we're going to go into Yule. Get off the snow warning. I'm going to put down another super potion down on Tundra. Part of me is like, don't do that. Use this as a chance to get some more damage off. What do you guys think? I mean, I really think I should go for the Razor Leaf. But my best bet in this battle is going to be Tundra. So I. I... Alright, let, let's put the, another potion down on Tundra. Hopefully, he doesn't go for Power Up Punch. Rock Tomb, that's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Okay. <laughs> Alright. We're going to go over into Tundra. Hopefully a return will be enough to get us the KO. Hopefully he doesn't do something too effective. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I was worried about that one. I was, I was seriously worried. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, I have been defeated. Alack, allay, Lady Karina gave a terrible display. This is it. I must give up my title and admit that your strength is far exceeds just easing. But here's your badge. Boy, you'll be rolling in them soon. Okay. That's one more badge down. I And from here on out, I'm pretty sure the game will be a lot easier than it has been, at least till we hit the Elite Four. The big problem with this challenge in this game he had an easy time with the first gym, the bug type gym. Hit the rock type gym. That one was a nightmare. We got to the fighting type gym. It was a little hard. It was a little hard. It was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. I was honestly expecting I would have an easier time with the rock gym than I did with this one here. This one just took me two attempts, while the other one took me three or four. Okay, that Pokemon for level 50 will obey me. That's good. We're kind of running a little over level at the moment. Power punch. I don't think I have anything that can learn that right now. Um, <clears throat> need to head to the Tower of Mastery. Let's go heal up the team real quick before I go. Uh, now, when I get to the Tower of Mastery, I am going to have to have a battle 
that where I can't use a uh, one of my Pokemon here. I have to use a Pokemon that has a Mega Evolution available. So that is going to be a bit of an uh, well, not really a problem because I'm not going to count that as a failure in the Monotype playthrough because the game basically requires me to use a different Pokemon for that. Uh, I'm going to be using the um, Lucario. Lucario, that's right. <laughs> so it's going to force me to use Lucario in that battle. Um, again, not going to count that as a failure. Wait, hold on. Can I can I go grab... I know there's no really point in doing this. I'm going to go see if I can grab... I don't think I can grab it yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry if I keep coughing. I'm a little sick. No, I'm trying to talk to you. Okay, I have to go. Uh, but I'm going to get the next Ice-type Pokemon there. And that's going to be the last Pokemon I get for a while. At least the last Pokemon I can, I'll get for a while that I can use in this playthrough. Um, Alright, let's go head over to the Tower of Mastery. Alright. I think I need to head up those stairs. Oh, Karina, I mean the Mega Evolution successor is waiting for you at the top of the tower. Alright. Do I have to fight anybody? I can't remember if I had to fight anybody. Only I do. Only those who have approved make who have been approved may climb the tower master. Oh, you're you may pass. Okay. Oh, I thought I had to fight him. Is there somebody in here I had to fight? Or can I just go straight to the top? Think of how hard it is to like roller skate up this <laughs> calves of steel. Oh, is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Okay, so it's going to force me to use Lucario. Uh, again, not going to count that as a failure. It'll give me the option to pick up Lucario. I don't know if I want to do that. I, mean, I can turn down the chance to pick up Lucario. I might pick it up just so I can have um, a spot filled in my Pokedex. Thanks for coming all the way up here. It was decided that this must be the place where the Mega Ring ha is handed over. Something about making sure we never forget to set our sights as high as the sky. And here it is, your very own Mega Ring. It is in the shape of a bracelet, so it's super easy to wear. Jane equipped the Mega Ring. Okay. Um, give your Pokemon the right Mega Stone and try battling with it. Your Pokemon will surely answer the call of the Mega Ring. Now, I do have a Pokemon on the team that will be able to Mega Evolve, but it's a long way off for me being able to grab the, the correct stone. Um, yeah, Yule can actually Mega Evolve, but I can't grab it yet. It's going to be a while. Lucario, are you sure? You want to battle alongside that trainer? Okay, yeah, just as I'm, if I remember correctly, I, I, it's going to force me to use Lucario. But let me just show you that I'm not lying. <laughs> I have to use it, so this is not a failure that I'm going to have to use a Pokemon that's not an Ice type. See? Okay, now that's established. Um, again, it, it will give me a choice whether or not I take Lucario with me after this. Um, I'm trying to decide whether I want to take it. Not use it, I'll put it in the box, but that way I have some space filled up in my Pokedex. Okay. Let's get this over with. Lucario. This, sh this should be a fairly, this will be a really easy battle. Basically, it's just a tutorial on how to Mega Evolve. Yeah, I didn't really like Mega Evolution when it came I think I've talked about this before. I didn't like Mega Evolution when it first came out, but it kind of grew on me, and it's kind of sad now that it's actually gone from the game. Uh, let's go with the Power Punch. You know, I, I'm actually kind of feeling bad, though, now that I'm thinking... more I think about about taking Lucario and just putting it in the box. I don't know. For some reason in these games, I, I get... If I do something bad, or not necessarily bad, like something that <laughs> you shouldn't do in real life... I feel bad for doing that to the Pokemon. I don't know. There we go. Nice and easy. 
Um, wow, and I'm only... I'm not even 15 minutes into this episode, and I've gotten all this stuff done. Still got another 15 minutes to go. I can get quite a bit done here, huh? <laughs> Unless I end the, end the episode earlier. I'm not going to do that here. I'm, I think I want to go um, continue to the next route. Yeah, I think I'll do it. Plus, I, yeah, if I take Lucario, I can use him as a as an HM slave. So that's yeah, we'll do that. We'll we'll take him along with us. Um, because he can learn strength, he can learn cut. Is there any other ones that he can? Move? I think he can learn cut. All right, I call you Lucky the Lucario. Why do I always call? Okay, little backstory. The reason I call him that. <laughs> I had a dog when I was a kid. We, we called her Lucky, and for some reason, every time I get like a dog Pokemon, I I I, I, I call him that. Okay, Lucky. There we go. All right, uh, let's head back down to the uh, Pokemon Center. Put Lucky in a box. Um. Okay, we good? Yeah, head down there. Pick, put him in the box. I'm gonna go to the next route where I will get the next Pokemon for the team. Um, hopefully it's a female, because all the Pokemon we have on the team so far have been male. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but... <laughs> for some reason, I want to have a little bit more of a uh, variety on the team. Why would you stop? There we go. There we go. Anything to say? Frost, I think you and Caleb are going to compete against each other. I think I've already read this. Okay. You? Other items related to Mega Evolution, like the Mega Ring or Mega Stones, must still remain hidden in the vast Kalos region. Maybe I'll search for them some more, so I can help strengthen the bond between Pokemon and their trainers. I think, uh, is this the guy I go to later in the game and he, he'll give me, like, different Mega Stones? Is this him? I know you can pick them up from, like, different places. Different people will give them to you. You could find them. <clears throat> All right, let's go put Lucky up in the box. Um, organized box. There we go. Okay, we got a pretty decent collection going here. Um, some of them I haven't named for some reason. Why did I not name Chingling? I caught that one between episodes. Oh, I didn't name Fru Fru or Scatterbug e either. So, it's no big deal. No big deal. Okay. Uh, no, no. Let's get back out here. Continue on to the next round. I think I want to move the team around a little bit. Who needs levels? I think I want to lead off with January. <clears throat> we'll, um... Let's see here. Who needs levels most? Tundra's gotten kind of far ahead. Yule's not too bad. We are a little bit over-leveled at the moment. But... It's nothing too serious. Yeah, I'm expecting the next few gems to be fairly easy. Um, I don't think I'll have a real challenge. Oh, hello. Here, take this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I don't think I'll have a real challenge until I get to um, the Elite Four. That's the next big challenge I think I'm going to have. Uh, because there's a Steel-type trainer and a Fire-type trainer. And, well, there's also a Ghost-type trainer that has a um, chan Chandelure? What is that Ghost Fire-type? I can't remember what it's called. Um, but I, 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 I'm working out strategies even this early. I'm working out strategies for those two. If you use the HM Surf, you can travel over the water. I'll challenge you to battle again sometime. That's the best way to get strong after all. Okay. Um, moving on. I can finally pick up the next team member, which is going to be... Drum roll. Drum roll. Oh, now you move. Skates, okay. Lapras, yes. This kind Lapras here once saved me from drowning. I feel bad, though. I can't afford to travel around and show it the wide world beyond these parts. Hey, I've got an idea. You've got a rumble badge. I didn't mean to click. Would you mind taking Lapras with you on your journey? Sure. It's another ice type. Water ice. That's going to be a big help. Um, in fact, that's one of the key parts I need to take on the um, Fire Elite Four member. Alright. What do we got? Oh, look at that. Finally, we got... Okay. Um, how do I spell this? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it's A-U... A-A-A... A? Yeah. Oh, oh. 
are hey, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, why did I look that up? I knew that. That's exactly what I was going to type it in as. Aurora, there we go. Right? A-U-R-O-R-A. A-U-R-O-R-A. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the newest team member. Lapras, it's time for you to go... Uh, it's time for you to move on. Go out and swim to your heart's content all across Kalos. Let's take a look at Aurora real quick. She is a water ice type, so that covers that thing there. Uh, she has rain dance, uh, water pulse, body slam, rain dance, and perish song. I'm going to have to replace one of those with a surf. So let's go ahead and do that now. Bag. Don't know which move I want to get rid of, though. All right, let's see. What do you got? I'm thinking Perish Song. Perish Song is much. What is Perish Song again? Any Pokemon that hears a song faints in three. Ooh, that could actually be useful. Uh, someone's a Heavy Rain falls for five turns, powering up Water types. I don't want to get rid of rid of that uh, Wid. Get rid of Water Pulse. Um, second cause confusion. His moves are actually pretty decent. I mean, the, I, I could use the Paralysis. I could use the Confusion. But Rain Dance will boost up the Water-type moves. And I, I have... I could use Perish Song. Perish, Perish Song could come in handy. All right, I'm going to get rid of Rain Dance. I mean, I, I can go... Who is the guy I need to go talk to? There's a guy in the game that can um, uh, bring back like a Pokemon's older move set. I can't remember what it was called. <laughs> All right. Should we? Uh, well, let's lead off for January and get him a little bit of experience. Do you not want to fight? Oh, there you go. Swimming alone, swimming alone. Oh, yeah. All right, what do you got? Alessandro sent out Quillfish. Doesn't Quillfish... Um... Is Quillfish the one it can have the hidden ability to, like, poison you if you make physical contact with it? Toxic spikes. All right, so that will be a problem if we send anybody in. So he's setting up the team here. Um, January's... Ugh. He's gonna have some problems here. I mean, oh, we, we do have Refresh, so if if I do pick up a Poison from him, I, I could just do that. Alright, I'm gonna bite. I think I'll do a little bit more damage. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> Alright, Swift again. get off this kill. What if experience would be great for January? 534. Um, you know what? Let's bring in Aurora. Oh, I forgot about the poison spikes! <laughs> I was just talking about that and I already forgot. Did, wait, did... I think they're still on the, on the field. Yeah, they're still on the... F are they on the field? Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. All right. Um, what am I doing? My whole plan, because I saw a binnacle, I was thinking rock type. But I forgot to water rock, so... I swear the paralysis off. I might do the perish song. Perish, pe perish song. The smart move actually would have been to go into um, Yule. Oh, he's got water absorb. Oh, could come in handy.
I don't know why I'm switching out like this. This is going to just cause Yule to pick up the poisoning, too. We we're trying to play it strategically, but really I'm just hurting myself. Well, that that and I, I, I want to um, actually use Parish Song since I went and did that. To the best of my knowledge, I don't think I've actually ever used a uh, Parish Song like set, you know, like a Pokemon that actually sets that up. That could come in handy in double battles. Um, of course, it would also cause my own Pokemon to faint. You should be fainting on this turn. Is he? Hold on. Unless he's one of the Pokemon that's immune to it, because there are Pokemon that are, that are immune to that move. Could that be what happened? Oh, there he goes. Okay. Alright. Very sloppy battle. I was over here trying to use strats, and uh, we all saw how that worked out. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. There's something there. You see that? Is that an item? Or is that just... I think that's just the water doing... Acting weird. I think that's what it is. Wait, hold on. I guess that's just uh, water acting weird. Okay. Uh, looks like I have one more battle here on this route. Let's go ahead... Going to Borealis. Borealis could use some levels. I think there's a Pokemon Center, not Pokemon Center, a Pokemon. Um, was there a center nearby? I don't know. <laughs> for some reason, I'm thinking there's a center, but now that I'm thinking about it, no, there's not. Not for a while, anyway. I think I want to actually get let this episode go a little bit longer than usual. Don't want this to end up being like Pokemon Moon, where I went three years. <laughs> plus, plus, now, ooh, now that it's December, I should totally make like a whole like event this month, since this is like an ice type playthrough. That would be perfect, right, for Christmas? I'm, I'm, go I'm doing that now. I'm doing that. It's official. Welcome to the seasonal special. Okay. Well, that did absolutely nothing for you, did it? Rock Doom. That did absolutely. Well, it was more useful than what he did. I mean, but still. Aurora Beam! Oh, Older Sleuth, you're really not doing anything to help yourself out here, are you? Um, Icy Wind? Sand Attack, that could be an issue. If I miss. I missed, okay. Oh. I don't know if that picked up, but I just accidentally punched the microphone. Stop doing Sand Attack, you're just being annoying now. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I want to go till I get to the next town. I, I mean, I might be a little bit of a ways off, but... I suppose I won't find victory in battle either, unless I aim for it. Okay. Is there anything down here? Ah, uh, it's over there. I can't even bother with this. There's no ice types on this route. So I'm just gonna run. Borealis is actually about to level up too. When does Borealis evolve? Hold on. I know he evolves at night, but was it Hold on. We're looking this up. Um Let's see here. Get this thing to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. Uh, 
39. 39. So we're still a bit of a ways off. Uh, Volves at level 39 at night. Okay. So we got a little bit of a ways to go. I can't even get to that because I don't have a Pokemon with Cut on my team right now. Let's see. I want to say there's a place in, over here that I can heal up at, but I might be wrong. Alright, attracts, and... Don't really have much use for that. Can I heal up right here? No, I can't. Okay. Can I write you? There we go. Excuse me. Yeah, I, I mentioned before that my favorite type is grass. I, ca I kind of like Skiddo. I really kind of like Skiddo here. All right, let me get up here and grab this. Um, he's cute. He's cute. And, and Go Goat's not that bad either. What was Shiny Stone? I don't remember what Shiny Stone was. Um, shiny Stone. Certain species of oak. What, what, what evolves with shiny stone? Okay, hold on, hold on. Going back to the other screen. Going back to the other screen. Um, what evolves with shiny stone? There's probably nothing I can use. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so Togetic, Roselia, Mincino, and Floet. So, nothing I can use. Okay. <laughs> Although, I'm pretty sure I have one of those Pokemon in the box. I might just go do that. Give it to him so I can, um... Say I... Ex worked on the Pokedex, I guess. I don't know. Alright. I think there's another place down... This way? Am I wrong? I might be wrong. I was wrong. Okay. Oh, there we go. Whipped Dream. Uh, can't use that either. That's for... Slurpuff? Was it Slurpuff? I don't remember. It's one of the fairy types. <clears throat> Alright, carrying on. I might have missed something, but... Eh. Kind of regretting getting rid of oh, Tauros. Kind of getting rid of uh, regretting getting rid of Flash because there's really nothing here I can catch. I mean, I could use this as a chance to. All right, we'll we'll do this for some training. Play the attack. Pursuit. Uh, roar beam. Suit. I can't really do a whole lot for you, I mean. Oh, wait, don't, don't do that. Is, is Pursuit, Pursuit is the one that where if you're switching out... Is that it? The one that does more damage if you're switching out. Like, the Pokemon comes in after the one that was being targeted. I think. I can't remember. Oh, what did I just hit? Oh. All right. I might catch this Tauros for the sake of the Pokedex. You know, I think we'll do that. He doesn't know Snore, does he? Have we seen all his moves? I don't think we've seen all his moves. So he had Rest. He had Pursuit. Did he have something else? Might have had something else that I already forgot. Alright, I think that's low enough. Let's give this a try. Got some great balls. Scary face. Okay, so scary face. He doesn't have snore, it doesn't look like, so it's not bad. Um, I 
Okay. And I'm planning on, like I've said before, getting a whole bunch of ice types. So that way I have a little bit more variety when I go to the Elite Four. I, I'm already making a list of ones I'm thinking about getting. Um, I want to get a Sneasel. Because there is a ghost type, Jim. And I, Dark was effective against ghost, right? Was it? I think it was. But I think that would be a good idea. I'll keep... Um, I'm going to keep Bite, I guess. Unless I get pick up Crunch on January. Um, but I don't know if I'll keep January on the team when I go to face the uh, Elite Four. Because I, I really... I mean, Glaceon... Uh, is he a good enough choice for a ice type team? I'm looking for something that can do some damage, you know? We are looking rough right now. Alright, what do you got? It's a Viper. Go Tundra. Hit it with a return. That should be a one-hit KO, I think. Yep. I'm making big use of, of that return. January 26. Mill tank. That could be a problem. Unless I can get the KO with with a return again. Alright. I didn't think so. Mill tank's really bulky. Don't get the paralysis. You got the paralysis. Good for you. Alright. Alright. That clears him out of the way. Um... Yeah, this episode's going almost to uh, 40 minutes. It actually might hit over 40 minutes. We have a long special here. <laughs> it's good, though, now, though, because I've decided that I'm doing this as a um, <laughs> as the seasonal special. Oh, Woodhammer! 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 I actually need that. Um, Woodhammer. Uh, all right. I mean, the freeze could be useful. 40 out of 100. I think I want to get rid of Icy Wind. One, well, no, actually. Oh, what about Razor Leaf? 55.95. Uh, I mean, it's good to have. I think I'm going to replace Icy Wind. Woodhammer does damage Yule, though. That's one thing to keep in mind. So, it'll be good for, like, a um, an emergency situation. But... Wait, is Woodhammer his signature move? I don't remember, was it? For some reason I want to think it's his signature move, but I could be wrong on that. Hello. My swarm of bug... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh. Woo. My... Okay, my swarm of bug Pokemon is in tip-top shape and buzzing for a battle. All right, what do you got? There should be a bunch of Metapods. Oh, Yanma. I haven't seen that one in a while. That's f bug flying, right? So icy, ice types shouldn't do too bad against the flying part. Uh, Powder Snow. Oh, you're still paralyzed. I forgot about that. Somebody told me that the... Um, because for a couple generations, you couldn't confuse and have paralysis on a Pokemon at the same time. Because basically, you know, like, stunlock. Was it stunlock? <laughs> um, is it, is it, did they, they change that in the new one? Somebody told me that they changed it. And now you can actually have, um, do that again. I'm use a paralyzed hill. Why do I have so many paralyzed hills? Oh, I, I got those when I was going to face the, uh, the fighting type, Jim, because I was, for some reason, worried about getting paralysis. Alright. Uh, let's do a return. It shouldn't be too bad. I think I'm actually right next to the next town.
Motham. Motham's flying, isn't it? It's bug flying, isn't it? Or is it bug poison? We will find out. I think it's bug flying. Ah, there he goes. Okay. He adds a bug flying. Okay. Yeah, we, we are well over level. I'm expecting... Um... Oh, I have to fight you, don't I? I'm expecting, like I said, the rest of the game until I hit the Elite Four would be fairly easy. I might have some problem when I get to the last gem, because that's also an Ice-type. So a bunch of our moves will be resisted. Um... <laughs> so I'm expecting the Ice-type gem to be a problem, but... I don't know if it'll be as big of a problem as Rock was. That's the thing. Uh, go Tundra. Okay, we have a Zangoose. Zangoose. Okay, let's hit it with a... Oh, I meant to hit return. Crush Claw. Oh, this, this, this guy must be the counterpart for the other breeder he faced down the way, because she had a Surviper. Wasn't Surviper and Zangoose like each other's counterparts in their generation? January grew to 27. Aurora grew to 31. Centauros, I think we'll keep going. Hit with a mud bomb. That did not do a whole lot. Alright, finish it with a return. I am abusing return. <laughs> There we go. Oh, no. Not a knockout. Go with an icy wind. <clears throat> Alright, Boreal is critical 33. 28. So Boreal is going to be the next Pokemon to evolve. Still a little bit of a ways off. I think it's six levels. Let's see, nine, minus three, nine, eight, seven, six. Yes, yes, three. Okay. What was I about to do? I was, I was doing something. All right, whatever. Um, I should be getting close to the next gym. Not gym, town. Yeah, here's the next town. Oh, Hollow Clip received. Kalem. Jane, I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. You'd better be ready. All right, hold on. I need, I need to go heal up the team. Um, uh, I'm trying to think if there's any um, ice Pokemon I can catch with a good rod. Uh, I think the Pokemon Center and all that's in the next area. Oh, great, you. Why, hello, Jane. Congratulations, I see you finally obtained everything you need for Mega Evolution. A Mega Stone for the Pokemon, a Pokemon Ring for the Trainer. And a strong bond with your Pokemon. Ugh, alright. Not doing the voices, my throat hurts too much. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I came to here to give you this. What do you got? Fly. Okay. Um, I might go put that on a uh, TM slave, but I don't have anything right now I could use it on. I am planning on getting an ice flying type, which should be able to learn that move. Um, can we get through all this story? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's go heal up the team. I uh, don't know if I'll face Caleb this episode. I'm going to end it here pretty soon because I'm just past 45 minutes. <laughs> so I went well over the intended mark of 30 minutes. But I'm going to heal up the team first. Oh, 
Wait, let's put um Tauros in, in the uh, computer before I forget about him. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay. Well, partners, I want to go ahead and call this episode here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to click like and subscribe. It much appreciate it. it helps me out. Don't forget, down below, if you're interested in donating to the Child's Play charity, link to their donation site down in the description below. And I will see you, partners, next time. Bye-bye.